got a little close there. Are you thinking about moving to St. Albert, Alberta? Well, you're going to want to consider these seven pros and cons. Now these pros and cons are just my opinion, so please be kind. <laughs> Feel free though to agree or disagree with me down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. My name is Mike Banks. I'll be your host on this tour. And not only was I born and raised in St. Albert, but I still currently live here with my family. I'm also a local real estate agent, so I know this market very, very well. If you have any questions whatsoever about moving to St. Albert, call me, text me, email me, however you prefer to communicate. My contact information will be in the description below and I'd be happy to answer all your questions. Now let's get right into this and I wanna get the bad stuff out of the way. So let's start with the cons. Con number one is, as you can see, winter. The winters in Alberta can be very long, they can be very cold, and they can just outright suck. Now I picked a pretty bad day to talk about the winter sucking in Alberta because it's December, and today is only minus four degrees Celsius, which is quite seasonally high for this time of year. However, don't be fooled. The winters can be very long and very cold. And although in Alberta, we do get a lot of sunlight. A lot of people call Alberta big, big sky Alberta. We get a lot of, a lot of sunlight and a lot of blue sky. During the winter time, the hours of sunlight are quite reduced and the sunrise is quite late and the sunset is quite early. So there's not a lot of sunlight, even though when it is sunny out, it can be quite nice. And depending on what you're into, winter might not actually be that bad of a thing. There's a ton of outdoor activities you can do in the winter, like skating, skiing, snowmobiling, snowboarding, snowblading. Does anybody snowblade anymore? Whatever you're into. And St. Albert's actually, depending on road conditions, it's about a three to four hour drive to Jasper, Alberta. And it's about a four to five hour drive to Banff, Alberta, which is some of the best skiing in the world. Hello, anybody home? I'm here to talk about what my taxes. They're a little bit high. Anybody help me? Hello? All kidding aside, con number two. Now the rumors are true. The property taxes in St. Albert are very high. They're actually some of the highest in Alberta. The last time I checked, we were number three in the province. Not exactly a record you wanna set. Now, what you can expect to pay for property taxes, and again, these numbers are at the time of recording and they're just approximate. At the time of recording, December 20, 2020, the average home price in St. Albert is about $400,000. You will pay about 1.1% of that home's value in your property taxes. So you can expect to pay about $4,400. Whereas in Edmonton, the tax rate is about 0.93% and the average home price is about $371,000. So you can expect to pay about $34.50 for taxes in Edmonton. So quite a big difference. Con number three, you're gonna have to lock your doors, your vehicle and your home. Now there's not a lot of crime in St. Albert. St. Albert is a very safe community, but there's a lot of petty crime, just punks going around, nothing better to do. Fortunately, the winter usually <laughs> scares them away, but in the summertime, in the spring, when it's warmer out, they're going around neighborhoods and they're testing your door locks. They're gonna break into your vehicle. They're gonna steal your console change and your Taylor Swift CD that you have. Wait, who has Taylor Swift CDs? <laughs> um, the worst thing is they might steal your garage door opener and then come back and break into your garage, which would really suck. But like I said, there's no major crime. Honestly, I think there was, what I can remember, there was one high profile murder a while back but that's about all I can remember. The rest of the crime in St. Albert is quite petty. All right, con number four, and that is that St. Albert is a bedroom community. Now this is only a con if you're really into nightlife, but it does kind of affect the property taxes as well. St. Albert is primarily residential, so that's why our taxes are, part of the reason why our taxes are so high is we don't have a diverse tax base. It's usually houses, it's not a lot of commercial. So if you're into nightlife, there's not a lot going on here. As you can see, I'm downtown right now, and it is crazy. There is people everywhere. There's nowhere to find a parking spot. There's just tons of activity. So if you're into nightlife and you're into activities, St. Albert being a bedroom community is going to be a con for you. So my friends and I, when we were younger, we'd go into Edmonton to go to some of the bars and party. It was always a hassle coming back to St. Albert because none of the cab drivers wanted to take us back to St. Albert because it was too far out of the way. So what we used to do is we'd say, hey, can you take me to you know, North Edmonton? <laughs> and then as we'd get closer to North Edmonton and closer to St. Albert, we'd be like, you know, uh, can you just keep going and go to St. Albert, please? So again, uh, part of the other problem that comes with St. Albert being a bedroom community is you don't get a lot of unique, there are some great restaurants, restaurants, don't get me wrong, you just don't get a lot of unique businesses and especially a lot of unique type restaurants. St. Albert downtown and food tip, this place right here, Jack's Burger Shack. If you're ever downtown St. Albert or in St. Albert at all, even if you're in Edmonton, drive to this place and have one of the best burgers you'll ever have. 
And because St. Albert is a quiet little bedroom community, there isn't a ton of jobs. There are jobs, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people commute to Edmonton to work. So you're gonna have to factor that in, uh, whether you're gonna take transit or drive. The other thing with the winter and driving is the commute time to Edmonton can be pretty long when the roads are really crappy and the conditions are really poor. All right, con number five. And now St. Albert has a little bit of a stigma to it. Some people call it the St. Albert bubble. And that's because there's a lot of high net worth people. St. Albert has a very high income per capita. Some of the highest in Canada. I think last time I checked, it consistently ranks in the top 50. As you can see behind me, it's very nice homes. So there's a lot of expensive homes, a lot of high net worth people. So it gets a stigma that St. Albert's a very snooty place and that everybody's a snob and everybody makes all this money. But the truth is, it's not true. <laughs> there's a lot of nice people in St. Albert and there's a lot of affordable, reasonable homes too. Not everybody lives in a million dollar mansion. Now con number six, and this kind of ties back into why St. Albert gets the stigma that it gets, and that's that homes are more expensive in St. Albert. As I said earlier, you will pay on average at the time of this recording about $400,000 for a home. Whereas in Edmonton, you'll pay on average $371,000. So you will save some money buying in Edmonton. Now averages can be skewed, right? That's Averages aren't always the best indicator because in St. Albert, there are higher end homes and uh, those higher end home sales can kind of skew the average number as to what the market actually looks like. But this home right here behind me, there it is there. That home right there sold for exactly $400,000 about two months ago. And as you can see, it is not a shanty. <laughs> it's a very nice home. Now under $350,000, you can still get a very nice home. Let's go check it out now. And this house right here, this house sold for, there it is there, this house sold for $325,000 just a couple days ago. So just because the average home price in St. Albert is 400 grand, it doesn't mean you have to spend that or more. You can still get a very nice home for under $350,000. Now with buying a home, being more expensive in St. Albert than Edmonton. Renting is no different, unfortunately. The average rent now, depending on the source that you talk to, but the average rent in St. Albert for a two bedroom apartment is about $1,500 per month. Whereas in Edmonton, depending on the source again, it's about $1,200 per month. Now, I just wanna really quickly interrupt these cons. How am I doing so far, by the way? If you disagree, if you're familiar with St. Albert especially, and you disagree with these things so far, please let me know in the comments below. But right here, like back to that stigma about St. Albert being snooty and you know a bunch of snobs running around like look at this thing right here this free little library we've got novels and paperbacks big books and two sections of kids books somebody put this in their yard for people to just walk by take a book read it and bring it back just kind of like a, a library i mean it's the little free library so let's get back to the cons okay so i know that we're still talking about cons here but little things like that free little library st albert has a really strong sense of community it's got a really good family vibe to it and like these fine folks are here i just ran into on the trail you know <laughs> not everybody like i said earlier not everybody in st albert is snooty and snobby there's a lot of really nice folks here you guys have a good day thank you <laughs> so con number seven St. Albert is essentially attached to Edmonton, and Edmonton is in Alberta. And unfortunately, Alberta is prone to cycles in the economy. We are very much a resource uh, resource-based driven economy there's a lot of oil and gas jobs so you know it's great with those booms they're really great when they happen but unfortunately I experience a lot of those busts as well so it's just something to consider if you're moving to St. Albert now bonus con St. Albert uh, if you're not from here all of the streets are named and this can be very annoying if you're trying to navigate it does take a little bit of time to get used to and a lot of the street names um, they're French names so some of them are hard to actually pronounce like the actual street that I live on my wife and I lived there for about two years and I finally learned how to properly pronounce it as embarrassing as that is to admit but unlike some cities that have streets and avenues that are all numbered and it's all in chronological order then it's very easy to navigate St. Albert not so much like that Okay, enough with the cons. We all know 2020 has had its fair share of bad news. So let's get on to the good things of living in St. Albert. Pro number one, there's a lot of parks. That is one of the greatest pros about St. Albert. There is just so many parks, so much green space, trees everywhere, mature neighborhoods. In fact, one of my friends came from Newfoundland to St. Albert for the first time. I'm gonna to totally butcher this accent, so no offense. But when he got here, that was one of the first things he said was, wow, bye, there's just trees everywhere. Every, everything's green. <laughs> and rightfully so. There's just a ton of green space here in St. Albert. 
Now another thing that there's a ton of in St. Albert is walking trails and virtually every single one of them is paved. Now I hate this word, it's gonna sound super cliche, but St. Albert has a very picturesque, <laughs> gosh I hate that word, anyways it's a very picturesque feel to it. There's the trestle bridge in the background there, very iconic St. Albert scene and I'm also on the river, the Sturgeon River which meanders through the city and it looks like, it's hard to tell, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like the city has plowed a skating path all the way up and down this river. All right, really quick, so back to that stigma thing about St. Albert being a bunch of snobs. I ran into some other fine folks. There they are, there they are right there. Some other fine folks right here. Of course, this guy's rocking his Edmonton Oilers hat. Go Oilers. How do you guys like living in St. Albert? Hey, we love it. We love St. Albert. St. Albert's great. We got a great neighbor to the north called Edmonton. We love Edmonton. <laughs> right on, guys. Have a good day. Pro number two of living in St. Albert. St. Albert consistently ranks very high in the best cities to live in in all of Canada. Now it's slipped a little bit recently. That's mostly due to the unemployment rate. It's quite high right now. We've had an oil price collapse here at the beginning of 2020. And then also, as everybody knows, we had the pandemic. So unemployment rate is one of those factors that they use in these studies of the best cities to live in Canada. And that's unfortunately affected St. Albert. However, in 2013, Money Sense Magazine rated St. Albert the number two city to live in all of Canada. And in 2014, St. Albert took the number one spot of all the cities to live in Canada. All right, pro number three, and that is the St. Albert Farmer's Market. This thing, uh, I'm at the location of it right now, St. Anne Street. It's not very bustling right now, but from June until about October-ish, depending on the weather, this place is a very busy spot. Now, I don't want to say, <laughs> I don't want to claim that this is like a world-renowned event or anything like that, but it is very popular. A lot of people from around the region come to visit this on Saturdays, and there's a lot of great vendors. But the other cool thing going on in St. Albert is there is just a lot of festivals in, in general. We have this International Children's Festival. We have Rock in August. Uh, we have the Snowflake Festival in the winter, to name, the, to name a few. Sorry if I left anybody out. But the main thing is a lot of these festivals and these events going on, they are family orient orientated. So again, just something to consider. All right, pro number four, and that is that St. Albert is affordable. I'm actually, hang on, I'm actually at Seven Hills. We call it Seven Hills. It's a very popular spot in the winter for tobogganing. Great place to bring your kids, or even yourself as an adult. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, so pro number four. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mike, you said back in the cons that St. Albert is not as affordable as Edmonton, and that it's a con. And now you're saying that it's a pro, that St. Albert is affordable? Well, here's the thing. If you put it in context, in all of Canada, St. Albert is quite affordable. The average home price at the time of this recording in all of Canada is sitting at about $600,000. The average home price in St. Albert is about $400,000. And as I said before as well, averages, uh, they're not always the best indicator because especially with the Canadian number, uh, the Canadian average home price number includes two huge and very expensive markets, which are Vancouver and Toronto. So that does kind of skew the numbers a little bit, but it doesn't change the fact that when you put it in context of all of Canada, St. Albert is quite an affordable place to live. And that brings me to pro number five. Now this total cost of living. St. Albert is relatively stable. We don't see a lot of price hikes or, you know, like you see in Vancouver in the news, they have that gas price surge, gas prices go through the roof. St. Albert is quite stable and we don't experience a lot of that. Now, pro number six, St. Albert is a bedroom community. I know what you're thinking again. Mike, you said that that was a con and now you're saying it's a pro. Actually, hang on. This is the street I grew up on. I actually grew up in that house right there. <laughs> Fun fact, if these streets could talk, oh man, the amount of good times we had with all the neighborhood kids playing street hockey and just getting into some good healthy mischief, all that stuff kids kids do. Anyway, so pro number six, St. Albert being a bedroom community. Now, if you're on the, you know, the young, the nightlife side of things, then yeah, that will absolutely be a con. But if you're on the family friendly, like putting down roots, you know, looking for a place to just call home, raise your kids, then this place, St. Albert, is the spot for you. Now, being a bedroom community, it's very quiet, and like I said in the cons, you know, with the with the crime, there is crime, but it's very petty, so that's kind of a pro <laughs> that, the, that the crime is petty. Um, but it's also got a very family-friendly vibe to it. 
there's just it's just yeah it's just such a great place to raise a family um, the other pro to St. Albert being a bedroom community is that it's attached to Edmonton so you've got all the f amenities and all the conveniences of Edmonton but you're not actually living in Edmonton and all the cons that go with living in Edmonton now I gotta say this video making this video has been a ton of fun it's kind of been like a trip down memory lane for me and it really reminds me of all the reasons that I love living in St. Albert and love growing up in St. Albert now a trip down memory lane would not be complete without a stop here. I call it Nitzes, some people call it Nitzes. If you're from St. Albert, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not from St. Albert and you're planning a trip here or moving here, you gotta come here for pizza. So we're gonna call this, I guess I should mention, we're gonna call this uh, Pro 6.5, we're still on number six, because uh, I didn't mention it earlier, and that is healthcare. Now a lot of bedroom communities don't get access to a hospital or really good healthcare, but that is not the case in St. Albert. We actually have our own hospital, the Sturgeon General Hospital. My wife actually works there, she's a nurse there, but it's a fantastic hospital. It's got an ER, it's got an ICU, it's got a CCU and some other specialized clinics. And then we also have a ton of doctors and other health clinics per capita. So the healthcare here in St. Albert is fantastic. Again, another thing that if you're a family, family person, that's something that's probably gonna be really important to you. All right, another quick check in guys. How am I doing so far? Are you agreeing? Are you disagreeing with these pros and cons? Are you finding this video helpful? And what do you think of St. Albert so far? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment below. And if you're still with me and you found this video valuable, please give it a like. I truly appreciate that. So pro number seven, that is great schools. I'm actually standing in front of one of them right now. There it is, can you read that? Ronald Harvey Elementary School. This is actually the school that I went to when I was a wee little guy growing up here in St. Albert. St. Albert has fantastic schools, great teachers, and great programs. There's the IB program, there's French Immersion at some schools, we have the Catholic school system, we have the Protestant school system. Now this is going to be complicated because there's a school in St. Albert called Sturgeon Heights. It's actually part of the Sturgeon County school system, which is not St. Albert, but the school is physically located in St. Albert. Like I said, it's complicated. However, some St. Albert kids, some, some St. Albert kids can go to the school, and they have a program called KEP, which is a kindergarten enrichment program. They have a program called, program called PEP, which is the preschool enrich, enrichment program. And they also have a program called Head Start for kids that need a little bit of extra help. Now, you're probably noticing a familiar theme with most of these pros of St. Albert. A lot of them are family friendly. And that is, guys, St. Albert's real claim to fame. It's a wonderful community and city to raise kids in. My wife and I wouldn't raise our kids anywhere else. So if you're into big, bustling, busy cities and nightlife and all that kind of stuff, St. Albert is probably not your jam. You're probably gonna wanna move into Edmonton. And now a bonus pro is if you do wanna move to St. Albert or you're thinking about moving to St. Albert, you have me as your personal local expert. If you have any questions whatsoever about moving to or living in St. Albert, call me, text me, email me. My contact information is in the description below. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. And if you're still with me and you want more content like this, I'm gonna be putting a lot more great content about living in St. Albert and also Edmonton as well. Subscribe to this channel and consider hitting that bell so you get notified when those videos drop. Now thanks guys, this was a lot of fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe consider also watching one of these other videos I'm gonna put on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video.